Hi Lakeshore friends, I'm Stacy, and I am really glad that you're joining me for today's Learn at Home activity because we're going to have lots of fun working with the numbers 0 through 9. You're going to get a chance to practice writing them, putting them in correct number order, and then the really cool part is you're going to use those numbers to make a pretend keypad on a phone, just like this. So now you can practice memorizing your phone number. So are you ready to have some fun with learning today? I sure hope so. Let's get started. So I want you to think about this for a moment. What if you were lost or in trouble away from home? Would you know how to call a family member for help? or be able to give that phone number to an adult who could make the call for you? If not, it's really time to practice learning the digits of that phone number and memorizing it just in case of an emergency because your family loves you and they want to keep you safe. So let me share with you the materials you need to gather from around the house to get started on creating that keypad. You'll need 12 paper plates, a marker, and some tape. The first thing we need to do to create the keypad is to turn over the paper plates. If you don't have paper plates, no need to worry. You can always cut circles out of scrap paper that you might have lying around the house. Now, using your best number writing, write the numbers zero through nine on the back of the paper plates. Make sure to only put one number per plate. Next, you have to draw the star and pound sign. For the star, try making an X first, then draw a vertical line straight down. And for the pound sign, we'll just think of it as making a tic-tac-toe board. And once you've finished, stop and have some fun. Try putting the plates in the correct number order, starting with zero. It's time to get the plates displayed on a surface to bring that keypad to life. Now make sure you choose the correct tape for whatever surface you're gonna use. Mine's going up on a painted wall, so I recommend scotch tape or even better, painter's tape to help protect the surface. So as you're building the keypad together, be sure to stop and ask the children what number comes first, what number comes second, what number would come ninth, and so on. This will help them develop an understanding of ordinal numbers. So once the keypad is done, stop and give yourself a big pat on the back and say, I did a great job, because you really did. The number buttons of the keypad are now ready for you to start tapping away and learning that phone number. I would even suggest putting up a visual of the phone number as well. This way you can still practice if an adult or older sibling isn't around to help you remember the number. I also think this keypad is great for older brothers and sisters who have cell phones. Give them a challenge and ask them if they can say a family member's phone number without looking in their phone contacts. They too need to know phone numbers in case of an emergency. So practice, 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 and soon you'll be dialing away. Well, I don't know about you, but that was a lot of fun. And before we leave today, I just wanted to say that as both a parent and an educator, it is so important to bridge that learning between school and home whenever possible. So my hope is that today's Learn at Home activity provided you with lots of opportunities to work on number recognition, number ordering, ordinal numbers, but most of all, the memorization of a family member's phone number in case of an emergency. So keep on engaging in learning at home, everybody, and I look forward to the next time we're together. Bye, everyone. Have a fabulous day. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.